So I asked if you could um, come and help me a little bit with pants. I'm kind of getting, you know, I'm kind of getting busts and shoulders and waists, but I don't get the whole, you know, going around and going under and everything that has to do with pants. So I just need, a, I need a little help with understanding how all this works. Okay. So I feel like the most important and difficult part of getting pants fitting right is having the front and the back rise appropriate for your body. Everybody's body is very unique. Okay. So we have our mannequin and I can use that to kind of show you what is the front rise, which is measured from the waist through to the center of the crotch and the back rise is measured from the center of the crotch over the back side and up to the waist. And if we take a close look at this mannequin, which is actually shaped a lot like you, Gail. Oh, I wish um, I had that bust. <laughs> <laughs> We're not looking at that right okay. now. Um, you'll notice that the front rise is a lot shorter than the back rise. Because of the rear. Because of the rear. And okay. The, not only that, but the, this particular um, lady is uh, quite flat through the stomach, and this bone that's part of the pelvis is receding quite a bit. So that makes this distance much shorter than this distance. Mm -hmm. And that yeah. is the way most people that I've ever fitted for pants, most of us have a much shorter front rise than we do back rise. So is that why you, like I told you, oh, I like this pants pattern and you looked at it and you said, mm, I don't think that's gonna work for your body? Yes. Oh, wow. So okay. let's take a look at that pattern, the one that you, um, <laughs> that you mentioned that you wanted to use. And it's right here. Okay. And if you look at this, First, we'll just look at the front rise. But you can see how deep this curve is. Oh, okay. Okay? And again, if we look at the mannequin, if you look here, this is actually quite flat, and that's how you're shaped too. This area that comes through here between the legs and then up over this pelvic bone is very flat. Mm. Yeah, but this pattern, it's got a really deep and very long curve. Got and in it. fact, I don't think I've ever fitted a person in pants who had a front rise that looked like this. Okay. So you can measure this rise, and it might be the right length for your body. Mm -hmm. But you also have to make sure that you have the length where you need it. And where you don't need extra length is in this curvy part. Oh, okay. and if I cut that out wrong, I can't fix it. You really can't. You can make minor changes, yeah. but very yeah. minor. Oh, okay. Wow. So that's the front rise. Now, if we look at the same pattern and we look at the back rise. I have a square butt. <laughs> <laughs> this pattern is doing better in this part, mm -hmm. right? Because you have a lot more, this oh, distance yeah, like that's going this. underneath, right. there's a lot more of it. So that part Got it. works a little bit better. Gotcha. Too much here, but this is probably pretty good as a starting point. But where we have a little bit of a problem with this pattern is there's no curving along this back, the center back seam. This comes in kind of like you know, a backwards yeah. L. It's a little bit like a hockey stick or something. <laughs> yeah. And you don't, you don't have a hockey stick for a back end. You, you have curving back here. Okay. So, I got a butt. Yes. So when you look here, there's, there's just no curving in this back yeah. part of the body. And that also wouldn't really work for you. Okay. And okay. the thing to just notice, I'm just going to point this out, when you're looking at a pattern, this area, this U, mm -hmm. is where the body oh, yeah. fits so if in. You kind of put those two together. If you look at that and then look at this, 
then you can see, see the, the relationships are really wrong. This this yeah. this you does not fit that body. Wow. Okay. okay. Yeah. So then, yeah. what we talked about was using this pattern mm -hmm. and taking a look at this pattern. Okay. And same thing. First, we'll just take a look at the front rise. Okay. And you can see oh, how yeah. much, much shorter mm -hmm. this is and how this is much more similar to this model because this is coming in very flat and it's not going very far in between the legs. Gotcha. Which is exactly how this is shaped. Okay? Right. And then we look here at the back rise and this part is also yeah. pretty good, right? It goes yes. pretty far down in, into between the legs. But also this area is considerably more curved than the other pattern. So this looks like a nice soft yeah, backwards like J, right? Yes. Looks like the model. Not like that hockey, hockey, st hockey stick thing. Got okay? it. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that's really obvious when you look at this pattern, once I put them together, it's not just that it's this U is more curvy, mm -hmm. which is more like you and yeah. the model, but also you can instantly see how much shorter mm -hmm. this front rise is than the back rise. Wow. And that is the way most people that I fitted, their bodies are more like this than like that. Okay. We should put this next to that just for one second, because that's where Jamie's going right now. That, that, that is really stunning, the difference between that, which doesn't even look normal, and this, which would fit. It, which looks like it's a, a regular person. Yeah. Right, right. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's, let's stop for a minute. Now, how do we get to the point where we know what size fits you? First of all, what we have to do is we have to measure the front rise and the back rise of the pattern that we're working with. So we're looking for something that's shaped already roughly like you are, but then we're gonna actually carefully measure right along the uh, rise of the pattern. And then we know what the rise is of the pattern. We're going to do this for the front and the back and then we're going to measure your body which is what we do in the pants fitting class we get your body we take your measurement and then we figure out not only from the circumference measurements which you need so you're going to have your waist you're going to have your hips you might have your upper thigh depending on how fitted your pant is and those are kind of traditional ways of picking out your size but when we have the measurement of the pant pattern and your measurement for front rise and back rise, we'll be able to pick the appropriate pattern size for the front and back rise, which may be completely different than what you would have for say the circumference of your hip and your waist. So I'll give you an example, Gail, when we did yours, your front rise put you in this pattern in a size two. Your back rise in this pattern put you in a size 10. And for your waist and your hip, you're going to go into a size six for the waist and for the hip a size 10. So you can see that the, the measurements can be all over the map, but you can still use a single pattern to come up with a well-fitting pant for yourself. And that's what we work on in our pants fitting um, class. So, wow, that's, uh, that's a lot of sizes there. So let's say I want to make a, a different kind of pair of pants, maybe one with pleats or, you know, just a different style. Uh, how do I do that? Do I have to like buy the pattern and evaluate it? How do I do that? Well, um, you might want to go ahead and get the pattern, especially if the style is very different. Um, you wouldn't want to try to design, you know, each pair yeah. of pants yourself. But what you can do, once you have this crotch curve that fits you well, is you can take that particular part of any pants pattern 
and just use the the well-fitting crotch curve on the um on the new pattern whatever it might be so maybe your new pattern has a lot of say pleats in the front yeah. for example um that's fine you can use the pattern for that but you could just use the well-fitting curve that you um, make when we do our class and you that did. can transfer onto many different pant patterns with very little modifications. And the other thing I want to say is that for most people, unless you have a very large weight gain or weight loss, this tends not to change very much on okay. your body. Okay. Um, it has a lot to do with the way your pelvis is shaped and that doesn't really change. So oh, that's wow. another thing. Once you've worked to get something that fits you well, you don't have to keep refitting it if you happen to have fluctuations in your weight. Wow, that is great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I can't wait to see your pants. Yes, me too. <laughs>